DPF regeneration light, if that is coming on, it's a good indication that the, the control system, the engine ECM, is not set up correct to correctly manage your after treatment system. The DPF light comes on for really one reason, and that's to tell the ECM that we've reached a level of plugging in the DPF that we need to do what's called a regeneration. The ECM at the same time is also set up to do a regeneration based on two uh, parameters. One, the DPF lamp is on. That would tell the ECM that I need to go through and do a regen. If I can do it automatically, great. If the operator has to you know, park and do a, a stationary regen, that's fine too. The other reason an ECM would do a regeneration is because the timer expired in the ECM itself. There is, and a lot of people don't know this, there is a timed based regen setting inside of every Cummins ECM. So that means if you're a transit bus, typically, I've seen them as low as every five hours actually, uh, meaning that the ECM is going to heat up the after treatment system every five hours, regardless of how much soot is in there, and that will keep that DPF clean. It will also run a whole bunch of uh, diagnostics. So the, you know this could be when your fault codes arise is during the, the regen um, that, that happens every five hours or every 10 hours or every 15 hours, whatever it's set to. So the DPF lamp's coming on, it tells me there's a problem. Either the DPF is plugging up um, <coughs> excessively quickly or your settings are not correct in allowing the ECM to regen on its own. So I've got three examples here of um, International Workstar chassis um, in three different applications. So the first one, we've got a snowplow. The snowplow, uh, the duty cycle of that snowplow is gonna be diff different than the duty cycle of a garbage truck. You know, a garbage truck is gonna be a lot of stop, go, stop, go, you know, zero to 100 on the accelerator pedal. Um, whereas, you know, a, a snowplow is gonna be, you know, forward, reverse, forward, reverse, uh, maybe low speeds if they're doing parking lots. Um, maybe there's a PTO uh, mode that's on all the time because they are at low speed. And then we've also got a cement mixer at the bottom there. The duty cycle or operating conditions of each one of these applications is going to be different. So therefore we need to optimize the settings or features and parameters to allow this ECM to manage the after treatment system based on what the typical operating range is. So when the dealership, when the international dealer sells these chassis, oftentimes they don't know what it's gonna be used for. So therefore we cannot rely on the dealership for setting up these features and parameters appropriately for the application. So one way that we can use insight uh, to determine whether or not the settings are correct um, is by looking at after treatment history.